now that we've gone through the whole series on Sky Sports and it's a, it just started again on Sky Documentaries. And I just wondered what sort of feedback you had had on your episode. Um, I'm going to direct that one to Victoria. Uh, well, I had really positive uh, feedback. Um, I was really pleased to actually, I think, have something that was quite honest and open, but empowering at the same time, because quite on, often, you know, you show your vulnerability and then you're portrayed as a bit of a victim or that you should be pitied in some way. And I think this had a, a slightly different twist on it because it felt like it was something that was powerful and I felt like really proud to be like grouped with such an incredible bunch of women across all sports. I was like, when you asked me and I saw the trailer and I was like, oh, I feel quite special actually, quite an honor to be perfectly honest, because it's, it's not very really that often that as a female athlete, you get associated with other female athletes from different sports and kind of held in high regard in the same way. So thanks for having me, Judy. Oh no, it was absolute pleasure. I I mean, for us, the feedback on every episode has been phenomenal. And I think for me, it's the, it's not just the inspiration, it's been the education, the number of teachers who have come back to us and said this should be in every school, because in terms of empowering girls and the understanding of the journey and hard work, all of these things, I think it's been great. This one's for Tash. After we had done the filming with you that day, did it stir up any particular memories that you might have, things you might have forgotten about or any particular emotions in you? I mean, it's always the Olympic emotions and the the the, the proud moments that it was even to, to qualify. But I think more the feedback that I got was the more human aspect, like Victoria said, like the people only judge you for them from the like eight minutes that you're in the ring but they don't see the four years of an Olympic cycle or, you know, my whole career so far is, is, is 16 years in the making and they don't recognise that and they don't, they don't really associate the journey of where you've come from to where you are. And even when I was like listening to Miss, Miss Moretta and, and I was like, oh yeah, that, that's the way I was. And it, it, was, it was funny, but at the same time, it, it, it makes you, like, like you say, more human to, to the younger females watching and to the audience that are there, because not everybody wants to be uh, an elite athlete, but they can relate to the human side of, 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 of what you're going through. Yeah, fabulous. And Steph, was there any of the contributors on your episode, was there anything that they said that surprised you or made you feel really proud or brought back memories? A lot of the feedback that I got was like, in terms of not just from me personally, but obviously people that have con contributed to helping me in my career, uh, whether it was at the beginning of my career or, or now to help support and just in general, the women's game. But I think um, there was a few stuff like what Dawn said in terms of what she she thought when she first met us and her, even her mem like remembering my first training session with England. It's it's pretty crazy to look up, like back all of them years and go, actually, that was the start of something special. But yeah, I think it was so nice to be able to go back and similar to the rest of the girls to actually for other people to understand that it's not quite a smooth journey as everybody predicts that it's going to be there's lots of ups and downs and i think to have that mentality to kind of bounce back and achieve what we've all achieved is is pretty special and that's what it kind of shows in the programs i was doing a podcast the other day for times radio and mariella frostrup she had listened uh, or watched your episode steph and she was talking about the you know how far football had come you know when you listen to other people saying what they learned and what they picked up you realize how i think how far reaching the story is and as you said tash the it's the human element having watched your episodes and having watched other parts of the series what would you like to see changing to make women's sport or the environment of sport for women a better place for the future, like for, for me, it's a, a bigger and stronger female workforce, but that, that's because I'm a coach. But I wonder what, what you all call as athletes and can I put that one back to Victoria? I mean, I agree with you in many ways. I think there has to be more females in managerial roles, not just at the first port of call or care level. There's a lot of female people working in elite sport who don't necessarily have any responsibilities in a leadership format. And I think 
women bring a very different point of view to every scenario and the diversity of thought and belief systems would definitely, I think, provide women with more opportunity. We'll all appreciate that when we came into our sports, very different environment to throughout our career. You know, I was the first female sprint cyclist on the team ever. Um, and now there's like a whole squad of, of females performing. But I think if there was something for them to look up to in terms of like, in the future, I hope to aspire to be in a, in a, in a coaching role, in a management role. There is no one really to look up to and someone needs to sort of establish and create that role, to be perfectly honest. And, and things are changing, but not, you know, it's a very slow progress. I think we're a long way off having the voice that we deserve in many ways. And actually going back to the women's football. Um, I mean, I, I love watching women's football because for me, that is one of the sports that really has in the last few years, come into our consciousness. When I was growing up, women's football, you only saw it in trans world sport. You didn't really get to experience it unless you went to a match, but watching the, the major sports channels and being able to watch matches, it, it shows how far the sports come. But we just need more people making this happen in every sport, pushing it forward. Like you, Judy, because I look <laughs> you. You're one of my role models. You know, to be able to put back what you've put back into the sport and what you offer people from grassroots up. And in terms of just being a voice, someone to look up to, someone to aspire to, to be, more duties, please. <laughs> I'm yeah. a bit lost. I need you guys all to, uh, to to take up the mantle a little bit here, I think. What would be the next progression, in your opinion? For me, the amount of people that actually see these linked and couldn't wait for the next episode, I think that's just a sign of respect. And obviously, the people that were involved, the women athletes, and obviously yourself, Judy, I think, to be able to share everybody's story and actually show the ups and downs and how, how much it's taken of hard work and commitment to be where we are today I think for the next series I think it just gives us another opportunity to put female sport on the map and to have that on whether that's on Sky Sports, Sky One, Sky Documentaries I think it just gives us that ability to kind of share our story and be on a par with male athletes because our stories are exactly the same we're just a different gender and I think to be able to allow us to be role models for future female athletes whether it's for people to be professional or to actually just join in with the support it's just allows us to do that properly and show all the different sides of it and how many people it does take to actually get where you are yeah i think i think that's brilliant because everyone says oh you know oh like women's boxing it's come on the forefront this year and you know it's brilliant and i'm like a little bit disrespectful because we've always been good we just we've never seen you know what i mean so we just everyone needs that visibility and you know from the ground up if a little girl can look at the uh, you know a, a screen and, and see steph beth victorian and be like i want to be like her and that's what we need is them young kids because they are the future to just have that same you know hunger and belief and that, that want to work hard and see them women and think you know whether that's a male dominated sport or not or whether you know what whatever it is if i want to do it i, I can do that you know, we are very keen, of course, to do a, a second series, but also to do a campaign that opens us up into whether it's schools, further education, um, youth clubs and so forth. If we go out and do this campaign and how big an impact can we have if we get a whole load of our great sportswomen, you know, a day of master classes, parent talks, nutrition talks, you know, we can put a really great day on. I never met any sporting idols in person and I think probably for me that's why I struggled to formulate the idea of having a career in sport as a woman. I looked up to female athletes from different sports growing up because there was no one in the cycling world that I was aware of. Sally Gunnell was one of my heroines all time. Um, and Denise Lewis as well, another track and field hero. But I think if I'd had the opportunity to meet or even just be in the presence of a female athlete, 
probably just once in my life, it would have made a massive difference to thinking what was possible because I think very much it's all about access. It's about physical access to facilities and the opportunity to train, access to expertise and coaching and, and that kind of influence, but also just psychologically, mentally, being able to see it as a possibility, like I could actually do this. This is actually a job that a woman can do. Meeting an, an idol or a hero can have a profound effect on, on what you want to do or what you believe you can achieve. I can see the value in that massively. Can you sum up driving force in one word? Thick. Badass. <laughs> <laughs> Tash. Togetherness. Fair. Inspiring. Girl power, ladies. Thank you. <laughs> See you all Thank soon. you. Bye. Bye.